Welcome back guys to today's video. Today we will be talking about when I personally buy stocks because I might be buying some stocks today. And as I've mentioned yesterday, I mainly have a look on uh, whether their earnings is growing, whether their sales is growing and if they are above the 21 moving average, above the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average and if they make new highs constantly. So I'll take you now to the screen. So here we are. And basically what happens today is the VIX is down a bit. Now that's the far far. But the VIX, as you can see, it increased I think last week on Friday. Yes, it was last week on Friday and now it's decreasing again, it's around 16. S&P is not moving a lot, but apart from that, NASDAQ is not moving at all. Made an all time new all time high today, but apart from that, not much going on. DAX unfortunately is falling again, but you never know if that's the way it is. But what I actually want to talk about is, as you can see here, I've marked these stocks. And all of those stocks marked here are stocks currently close at a new all-time high or actually doing a new all-time high. So every morning I go through all of those stocks. That's my watch list. And then I'll have a look. Okay, so I can cancel that because as you see, it's definitely not having an all-time high right now. And I have a look at whether they're interesting for me right now to be considered buying or not. No, let's keep that. And Facebook, for example, is a really good example because if I go to Finwiz, I see, okay, Facebook. Earnings growth, sales growth. All of these growths are the way I wanted it to be. So I might be considering Facebook for a trade. Apart from that, I have Adobe, Charles River Laboratories, Fortinet, Edex Laboratory and Intuit. And I'll have a look now at those. And so Facebook, interesting right now. So I might consider opening a position in Facebook. Then Shopify is actually quite interesting, to be honest, um, because Shopify might be good long-term Adobe. I think, to be honest, I will increase my position in Adobe today. I also think I'm gonna increase my position in, oh well, index in Charles River. And there are a few other stocks I find interesting right now, for example, S&P Global. But I'm not sure, I think I'll buy all of those ones that are currently fitting the criteria at Finvis is like super annoying if interactive brokers fucks up that shit here. Like I spend all of my time like sorting out, organizing, for example, that this one is at the top, followed by that, followed by this one, then this one, like as a percentage, but here and there, interactive broker just gives a fuck and be like, well, hmm, screw that shit. So I think I'll just organize them, but then I'll cut it out. So guys, we're back. I am able to organize a few numbers. Isn't that amazing? Please advise me for Nobel Prize in math or whatever. To be honest, I don't know whether there's a Nobel Prize in math. So what I'll do now is I sell some Euro, then we go to Uh, yes, here we go. So it's always super important is 
forex conversion because if you go on EDL Pro at Interactive Brokers, they open a uh, currency position, so either you long or short euro um, or US dollars, depending on whether you sell or buy. And that's super annoying to be honest, because actually what you want is uh, cash. So I do not want to sell there. I want to sell 10,000 euros. And the mid price right now is there. And I'm gonna go and transmit. I'm gonna go and accept. And for that, I will get around 12,000 US dollars. That's fine. I go on override. And now the thing that sucks like shit is Due to the fact that I'm not selling 20,000 euros, like it takes them ages to actually get my order filled. Now sometimes it goes fast, but no, please sponsor me. Please. I love it. We were filled guys. We were filled. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Literally like what else can happen today to make me happy? Um, I don't know, a rise in stock market would be fine, but that's not, that's all right, to be honest. Um, so Adobe, so what I do now, I go up here again and I go, let's start with Adobe. So we go here, Adobe, and we can see Adobe is definitely doing a new all time high. So let's buy one Adobe share. Buy no a hundred. Wanna buy one share on accept. Great, we're gonna go. And our order was filled. So Adobe has become more valuable, so we're gonna move it up. Amazing grace. So I think that's been it so far for today, guys. Uh, I hope I'll see you soon. I'll make a video about American Tower today. I hope I'll make it. And then I'll see you later.